Okay, so we've worked with this um, Ugly Duckling project long enough. Let's go ahead and actually open up another Ugly Duckling project that actually has uh, some dialogue, some sound effects, all synced up and ready to go. So we'll close this session. Uh, I'll go ahead and save it. And now I will go to my hard drive. And the, the one that I want is actually called Ugly Duckling 2. There it is right there. So there's Ugly Duckling 2 right there. Look at that. That's a good looking session. Ready to go. So this one has got our video right here. Let's just make it a little wider. See that? This is our video track right here. This is our dialogue track right here. We have some more dialogue in the by way of a VO right here. Uh, we have effects. Uh, we have something called Atmos. It's just basically another effects track. I don't like the name Atmos. I'm going to call it FX02. And then at the bottom is music. This is generally the direction we want to go. We want the video at the top, then dialogue tracks, uh, which will include ADR, uh, effects tracks, and then music tracks. So um, let's basically go over the stuff at the top here. Um, number one, shuffle, slip, spot, and grid. Let's zoom in a little bit. How do we zoom in? We got the little magnifying glass here, right? Zoom in, zoom in zoom in another way to zoom in that is a lot easier than that is right here see this little left horizontal zoom out horizontal zoom in you click on this or you click on this zooms out zooms in pretty easy you could do the magnifying glass as well but I think this is easier this is pretty cool too. Audio zoom out. Look at this. It doesn't make your audio louder. It just makes your waveforms easier to see. So if you're looking for, you know that there's a piece of dialogue in here that's like a whisper and you're like, you know what? I need to really see where that is. I need to zoom in on that waveform. Ah, looks like it's right there. It looks like there's a little whisper right there. This doesn't increase the volume, it just increases your view of the waveform, so it's easier to see all the subtle variances in volume. Let's see, this... Oh, this is for MIDI, which, which we'll go into later a little bit in this class. Okay, this is cool. Zoom toggle. So this is what you do. You've got all these little key, uh, little buttons right here. You got the magnifying glass. You've got the trim tool. You've got the selector tool. You've got the grabber tool. So the selector tool lets you select whatever portion of the timeline you want. So I could take the selector tool. I I could select a little bit before the track, a little bit after the track, as much of the area that I want. But I'm just going to select this. Then you click on zoom toggle boom now I just get a full screen of that selection so if I really want to analyze a clip really just really see what the heck is going on in there and know that you know what I wanted to select this little bit right there you can use the zoom toggle I mean you could do it here but it's so tiny and yeah I could zoom in and that'll work as well but isn't it a lot easier and a lot less clicking if you just select generally the area you want zoom toggle and now you can really go in and do some fine sonic surgery okay and then you hit it again to get out of it um so that involves the, sel the selector tool which lets you select and whatever you select you could do whatever i could hit the delete key it's gone i could uh select all of this and then take the grabber tool and move it wherever I want. See that? Uh, 
Uh, speaking of which, that's the grabber tool. So the grabber tool looks like a little hand. It lets you take whatever's selected, or if it's not selected, it'll automatically select it for you. And then it lets you move it wherever you want. The trim tool. Trim tool is super powerful. Let's zoom in a little bit. Trim tool lets you say, say this clip right here is needs to start a little earlier. With the trim tool, you go to the very beginning of the clip, click, hold, and drag. Click, hold, and oh, come on. There you go. See this? And it reveals the raw clip. See, this clip is actually just part it's selection that was made from a raw audio clip we're, we're just using this bit but later on maybe we want to use more you can use the trim tool to trim it back you can use the trim tool to trim it forward or you can use the trim tool to say you know what i know i want it to begin right here so you just click once and it just trims off the rest so i'm the trim tool is super powerful the scrubber tool, maybe you could play it or you could just click and hold. Should have a I'm scrubbing the audio to find something. A lot of times in your audio editing, you're listening for little subtle variances uh, and you don't want to just play the whole thing. You just want to scrub around until you find it. And then the pencil tool. The pencil tool, we'll get into that when we get into volume and aut automation, but just a little sneak preview. Right here it says waveform. You put on volume and it changes the view of this graph. And this right here is our volume that I'm changing. I just drew the fade ins and fade outs of this uh, audio track. If you listen to it, it's making a sound like rah, rah. Yes. So uh, you kind of get the idea. And if you don't like that, you can always just select all of it, hit delete, and then it goes back to where it was. But we'll go into that more later. So those are these buttons right here. Now let's talk about shuffle spot slip and grid in the next chapter